Hey everyone, Andrigats here. With the War Within pre-patch now available, players can dive into the new event called Ready and Echoes and can max out any 60 alts in less than one hour. Although the event had a rocky start, Blizzard quickly addressed most of the issues, making significant improvements. The event now runs more frequently with a one hour cooldown and after the zone boss is defeated, memories begin resurfacing, allowing the event to repeat immediately. This means you can now kill the end boss over and over for rewards in a given hour active zone. Additionally, the quest to kill each boss is now a daily and account-wide task and it gives 3000 memories. With these changes in mind, as a result, the leveling and gearing have seen significant improvement. But let's take it from the start. As you log into the game, you'll see a quest popping up directing you to Dalaran. If your Dalaran Hearthstone isn't available yet because you are a low level, don't worry, there's a portal that can take you there. Once you reach Khadgar, you'll see three portals, one for Searing Gorge, one for Dragon Blight and one for Dust Wallow Marsh. Just hop into the glowing one, which indicates that it's active, and grab the quest to kill the end boss. Then the fun begins. Start completing lingering memories, as these are the ones giving the most XP in the event. This can be easily spotted as glowing orbs in your map. In all fairness, I tested the event from scratch, starting at level 10, but it doesn't seem as efficient as Remix. It took me 40 minutes to go from level 10 to 20, which is quite slow compared to what Remix currently offers. The best way to leverage this event is for owls that might have stayed behind, perhaps from BFA or Shadowlands. In that case, Radian Echoes is an easy and lazy way to max them out. Like I said, just head straight to the glowing portal, pick up the boss quest and try to complete as many lingering memories as possible. This provides the most XP, so the more you participate, the more XP you'll gather in a given cycle. You can also take advantage of the Darkmoon Fair event for a 10% XP boost, although this only lasts for this week. In the meantime, make sure to log off your characters in rested areas like Eames to gain the rested XP buff. You can get 200% more experience from mobs and this event has plenty of them to kill. Basically, for any alts that you are planning to level up through the event, just dump them into a major city or an inn to start accumulating the rested buff. I wouldn't really recommend starting a new character just for leveling in the Echoes event, Remix still gets a crown for that one, but if you've got any alts that might have fallen behind, Radiant Echoes is a great way to catch them up. It literally took me 50 minutes to level up from 60 to 70 solo without any buffs. Now if you decide to take it a step further and join a group and be more organized about the whole thing, then you'll do it in half the time. It took me 30 minutes to reach 70 from 61 and that was only with the rested bonus. I couldn't really bother to travel to Darkmoon Fair, so it's not really a must thing. Even if you watch the video after the fair ended, don't worry, you can do it just fine. So yeah, it's really up to you. you do you want to go solo or you want to join a group? Obviously joining a group is a lot faster, especially if you all work together. 60 to 70 is pretty much doable in 30 minutes and in my humble opinion that's pretty insane. By participating in this event you don't only get experience but you also accumulate residual memories, a currency which is very useful for gearing now. Residual memories can be used to purchase 480 gear from vendors in the event areas and in Dalaran and these items are all warbound. Basically you can store them in your warbound allowing any of your alts to use them whenever they want. On top of that, killing an end boss for the first time on each alt grants you a token containing a 419 gear piece, which is a really nice head start. I think it's fair to say that this event not only provides substantial XP but also gears up your alts nicely. 418 gear is really just enough to just get you started into the world within and it will make your leveling in the new expansion much smoother. And oh boy, is it a good time to have many alts in the world within. I've already said too many times now that having alts in the world within will be a huge advantage with the warband system in place. And if you want to learn more about the warbands, check out my major features video of the pre-patch. For now, I'd like to thank you for watching my content. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and make sure to subscribe for more content. Hit the bell to stay up to date as well. Good luck with whatever you're doing and I'll see you all on the next one. Bye!